Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to next one. In this, we are going to discuss about a interface of a Postman, how it looks and what are the functionalities we are going to learn in a further session. So let's get into this. And before moving forward, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Fundu Tester. Camera rolling action. Basically, uh, during the testing or during the development phase, what are the things we are going to do? So first is the entry level thing. First, we have to import the APIs into the Postman. So for that, we can build a collection. We can inf uh, import from a curl or we can import from a direct collection like a J developer will share a JSON file with testing team and directly they can import to their machines and later on they can use for a further testing or further automation purpose and once after the execution of the api basically we can share the response we can validate the response so there is a one module to validate the json data what are the data we are getting throughout the response or throughout the api uh, automation we will validate the data and we can write data into the excel sheet or csv and later on let's say we have 100 api in our collection collections means bunch of the api so in a one application let's say we have 10 api so we are going to group together and that we can call it as a collection so entire collection how we can automate all the these things we can do using a postman so let's go to the basic how it is going to look so first of all here if i go to the uh, this section upper section so there is a option to home workspace i can create a workspace so basically uh, if someone is working for a multiple teams like uh, like within a company there are three teams and he is working for two of uh, those teams so he can create a two different workspace one dedicated to the x team and one dedicated to the y team we can create a number of a workspace like we just need to click on the create workspace uh, provide a name and simply create so that is a done and uh, from here api network so for this we need to log in or we should have a enterprise access and apart from there is a explore uh, section so here we will get a multiple open api so for example we are learning a uh, api automation or api testing or how we can get start with the api then there are a uh, multiple free apis collections are available so we can basically fork the collection and we can uh, try how it is going to work if i go to the again home so here there is option to collection apis environment mock server monitor so these all are the basic functionality as a tester or as a developer we are going to use so mainly will be the collection so how collection is work basically if we click on the here plus icon here this side so create a collection so for example here i am going to create a collection for a uh, youtube so youtube testing tutorial or a YouTube API, a YouTube Postman tutorial, and collection is been created. And later on, I can create a multiple fo folder inside this collection. So, for example, let's say I wanted to add a, a request, add a folder, or share with someone, move or export collection. So everything I can do here. So let's say, for example, I'm going to add one folder, and I'm going to give name as a uh, cart functionality. So this is a cart folder and, and beneath that I can create a one more folder for example let's say xyz functionality so I can give any name and I can create a multiple folder and I can group my APIs together and for example this API we discussed last time so if I want to save with particular folder then I simply need to save request to a collection so there is option to save I just need to select this basically a collection so this is the collection name and if i click on this i will get it folders here let's say for example i want to save uh, inside the card so i simply click on a card and then i can give a desired name so for example let's say this api is name is a get user so i can give, give a name and then i just need to save so now you can see if i close this request and again i wanted to re-trigger this request so simply i need to go here and simply click on this so I will get ready made everything and apart from we can send any data and here is the environment so how environment is going to work is for example let's say in a company we are working on a multiple environment so initially it starts from the testing environment or dev environment and later on we are moving to the 
staging environment pre-prod environment prod environment so we will have a multiple environments and uh, api will be the same throughout the multiple environment but what happens base uri or global variable local variables or user credentials will change environment to environment so what we can do here we can create an environment profile and we can save a different uh, servers base uri and later on we can pass here the dynamic value so same collections we can use throughout the multiple environments so this is the use of environment and apart from here there are multiple options are available so for example let's say i'm working on a any api and particular api is not working or a particular api is throwing some error let's say 404 or 500 and i wanted to share with a dev team so how can I say basically in real time there will be a huge API URL so here it is showing simple but in real time it can be a complicated and apart from this there can be the headers or authorization or body so multiple data we have to share so instead of that what we can do we can simply uh, copy this call so there is an option copy snippet we can copy this snippet and basically we can share with a developer team so for example let's say i have copied this snippet and later on i'm going to just for under understanding purpose i'm going to delete this request and now consider i'm on a dev machine and dev wants to debug this api so what he or she can do simply he will go to the import here they can simply paste the curl and simply i can see api is here so here uh, there is a new so here i can build a http request collections or environment I can simply build or I can simply import the data and apart from there is an option of import so here I can import a files or a folder or JSON file like uh, if I wanted to export this for example let's say yeah, there is an option to export so uh, simply I need to export this and export so it will save somewhere so it will ask where you wanted to save so for example let's say I'm going to save uh, to downloads folder i am saving the data and now i wanted to share with someone so what i will do to just for a demo purpose i am deleting this collections so now there is no collection on my uh, postman and later on i just simply need to the import files here i have youtube postman collection and simply i need to click on the open so now you can see entire postman collection has been imported here and simply i can start triggering the request so this is how it is going to work pretty much we have discussed all the basic options and functionality apart from there are along with each and every api so for example i'm going to hit the post api so there are multiple options are available basically so oh, parameters authorizations what kind of authorization i am going to pass headers body and apart from uh, for example which type of body i am going to pass for example let's say i have raw data so it is again going to ask the text or xml so all these things we can define and we can trigger the request so this is the basic very basic level of area uh, that we are going to touch or everyone is using but apart from that there are many more functionality so will i will try to explore all such areas that we are going to use in industry and how we are going to leverage a uh, very beautiful tool which is a postman so in next session we will start working on a basic apis i hope you like the video and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in a comment section and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu tester see you soon with next session